Lovers, welcome back to the channel. This is Gwendolyn. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome. Or if you're returning, welcome back. This video is going to be on the new moon in Taurus that we have happening on Wednesday the 26th. It is at midnight, uh, 16 minutes past the hour universal time for West Coast Pacific U.S. time, that is um, 5.16 a.m. And for East Coast time, that's 8.16 a.m. Um, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about what this new moon in Taurus means, the astrology, as well as what it means for each sign. And I just want to say quickly that if you're interested in booking a reading with me, I'm doing a flash sale for the last week of April with uh, most readings 25% off. So I'll have a link up top um, if you want to check that out. It, again, that sale is going through for readings that are booked through the end of April. So if you want to grab one of those uh, before the month ends, you can do that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the astrology of this new moon. It's a really beautiful new moon. There's a lot of sweet um, aspects happening, notably a, a grand trine in the sky between um, some, some kind of heavy-duty planets. We've got Saturn at 27 degrees Sagittarius, and then that's trining... Um, We've got Mercury and Uranus meeting up in Aries at the last few degrees of Aries. And then both of those are trining the North Node, which just crossed over, or it's, it's sitting at one degree uh, Virgo, which is just past the last few degrees of Leo. So we've got this beautiful trine in the sky, and it's trining the North Node, which is where we're headed. So it's sort of like saying all's well headed in the right direction. And it has to do with, you know, maybe some surprises, that's Uranus energy, um, having to do with hard work and structure that we've put in. So it's sort of like surprise here, you're, you're further along than you think, or, you know, you're headed in the right direction. It's a nice pause. Um, and there's two planets, the moon, uh, both moon and sun are sitting at six degrees, uh, tw I believe it's 26 or 27 seconds Taurus, and the moon is exalted in Taurus. So this new moon is in her exalted sign of Taurus, and Pisces, by the way, is hanging out in, I mean, um, Venus is hanging out in Pisces, which is where it is exalted too. And, and Pisces, um, sorry, I keep saying Pisces, Venus is the ruler of Taurus. So we've got both the moon sitting in Taurus and the ruler of Taurus, Venus, both being exalted. Um, so it's a lot of really beautiful earth energy. Um, and if, if any of you are thinking about planting gardens, now is a fantastic time for that. Um, the new moons are all about sowing seeds anyway. So with this beautiful aspect of the new moon in Taurus and with Venus in Pisces, both of those exalted, um, there's some real beneficial energy to anything that you want to begin now, especially as it has to do with the earth element. So the earth element um, has anything to do with literally the earth, say gardening or nature, anything like that, as well as physical aspects such as assets and money and, and tangible things, physical possessions, things, things having to do with, say, beautification of the body, um, anything that has to do with the physical element. So if some of you are thinking about starting a new job, um, that could be recommended. I would wait until after the Mercury Retro um, concludes around May 3rd, but now is a good time to sow seeds of things that you want to bloom over the course of the next six months until we hit that full moon in Taurus. And you may see some really beautiful 
uh, results. You may have a really beautiful harvest. So I'm going to go into what it means for each of the signs here. Um, bear with me while I just get this set up so that everyone can see it. So I've got, I've got new moon in Taurus for Taurians. This new moon in Taurus is happening in your first house of the self, of identity. So this may begin a new version of yourself, new definition, a new you. Usually when we have new moons in our first house, it's an opportunity to begin something new in that arena that um, has to do with the self or has to do with your identity. So some of you may be showing forth aspects of a new identity that grows over the next six months and that will really come to fruition and to the surface by uh, that full moon in Taurus that we'll see in six months. So enjoy the process, Taurus, of discovering a new you, a new self, a new identity. Some of you um, may be emerging and thinking of a new aspect of yourself that you would like to shine forth. If you would like to develop a new self, now is a good time to begin that. Um, and then you'll see some nice progress over the course of the next six months. You may feel like a new person is emerging. So that's usually first house identity and the self. For Gemini, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your 12th house. That has to do with dreams, with spirituality, with the collective unconscious. Um, it has to do with mysticism. It can sometimes have to do with things that, that unite you with the grand, um, the oneness of the world. So if some of you are looking to pursue something that has to do with your dreams or anything that has to do with 12th house themes of the unconscious of, say, some of you may be embarking upon dream work new moon in Taurus in your 12th house is a great time to do that. Um, for some of you, let's see, 12th house, some of you may be doing some new recovery from addictions because 12th house can sometimes represent um, addictions or things that, that uh, confine us, like institutions. So new moon in Taurus could be like new practical steps of recovery. That's a very good possibility for some Gemini. Any 12th house themes, uh, anything that you want to begin in that realm is going to be featured now. Some of you may begin a new um, regime or new practice of spirituality or mysticism. That's definitely 12th house um, energy. So great time to begin a new spiritual practice and watch that cultivate over the next six months. So that's what's being featured for you, Gemini. Um, for Cancer, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your 11th house of friendships, of outer networks, and of humanity. The 11th house has to do with things that, that are related to your social network. Um, to do with networking. So if any of you cancers are wanting to begin a new chapter of networking or add new friends to your, your you know, social tribe um, or join a new collective of people, now is a good time to reach out and to begin that, to begin new networking endeavors. 11th house is also the house of science and innovation. So it could be a time, if some of you cancers are scientists, to, to begin working on a new idea or a new theory, anything that is innovative and uh, has that sort of genius lightning rod element to it. But mostly it's going to be social, outer networks. So if you're looking to promote your business, good time to network with other people. If you're adding people to your social circle, um, really good time to be doing that cancer. And that you'll see results from that over the next six months as you nurture those seeds that you've planted right around this new moon. For Leo, this new moon in 
Taurus is going to be happening in your 10th house. Now, this is the house of career. So, and outward appearances and um, the way you show up in the world and your reputation. So, for any of you Leos who are looking to start something new in terms of your career, now is a fantastic time to do that. To do that. Taurus is a very practical sign. It has to do with tangible results. So any practical, tangible steps that you can take towards planting seeds for your career, it may be a new project that you're working on in your career or a new um, degree that you are going to be working on or some sort of new um, certification new new sort of feather in your cap is what i'm going to say because 10th house is all about reputation qualifications awards that you can hang on your wall things that you can point to that you that you are scaling that mountain of 10th house usually represents capricorn so i think of capricorn as scaling the mountain of career of status of reputation of accomplishment so anything that you want to accomplish over the next six months, this new moon in Taurus is a fantastic fertile ground for you to do so. So plant those seeds now, Leo, for anything related to your career that you wanna see flourish over the next six months. For Virgo, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your ninth house. And the ninth house is the house of travel, of exploration. It's a house of philosophy, of higher learning. Um, and it's also can be the house of publishing. So for any of you Virgos who are looking to publish something, now is a great time to take practical steps towards that. If you're looking for an agent, if you're looking to submit a manuscript or a proposal, anything that has to do with publishing or it could be online publishing in terms of a blog or a website, now is a great time to begin those steps, begin practical steps, that's Taurus energy to putting that thing out in the world. Um, it alternately could also be a good time to start up travel plans for a place that you wanna go, New Moon in Taurus uh, is, is new travel. Uh, you may want to actually, bef before you actually make any of those travel plans, you may wanna wait until after May 3rd until Mercury goes direct. Um, but now's a good time to start sowing seeds as far as collecting ideas about where you might want to go um, that's favored anything to do with higher learning now is a great time to begin coursework where it's greater education about uh, going to the next level and your understanding about something and it's also spirituality so some of you may want to be deepening any practice that you have regarding your religion your belief systems or studying a new culture that's also featured in the ninth house so beginning studies of a new culture or beginning studies abroad i'm seeing that for some of you um new moon in taurus is a good time to begin step practical steps towards that so for Libra, new moon in Taurus is happening in your eighth house of transformation. It's also the house of things that are hidden, things that are below the surface. Generally, eighth house is the house of sex, death, and taxes. So anything that has to do with those themes, it's also the house of other people's money. So new moon in Taurus could represent a, um, an application for a loan. If some of you are considering that, it's a good time to be doing that. Um, it's also a house of if you want to investigate something, like if there's something that you want to look into that has been hidden or beneath the surface, new moon in Taurus can really help you as a time to begin that endeavor or begin that investigation, that exploration. And then when you get the full moon in Taurus about six months later, you may have a real light shining on that. Um, but now is a good time to begin researching things or looking, begin to ask the questions of what it is that you're, you're wanting to investigate and bring from the hidden depths of eighth house, mystery, intrigue, depth, underworld, um, all of that depth psychology, for example, if some of you are beginning uh, studies into that, 
anything that has to do with the occult, with the hidden, with mystery, with intrigue. Um, some of you may be possibly beginning a clandestine affair or, you know, something that is under the surface that's possible with New Moon in Taurus. Um, but I'm really seeing it's a good time to begin research on something that is hidden that you want to discover answers to. That's a great time for that as well as any loans for applications for loans. Eighth house is other people's money. Um, for Scorpio, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your seventh house of partnerships. So that could have to do with a new romance or a new business partner or a new um, chapter within your current relationship. It's a time to sow seeds in terms of your relationships that you can begin a new chapter. So it's either with a new person or it's a new chapter with someone who you're already with. And that can have to do with any kind of partnership, whether it's a romantic partner, a spouse, a business partner, a friendship, whoever you're partnering with on something, it's a good time to start up new partnerships. New Moon and Taurus is very practical time. So it's a good time to look forward and see, you know, who has strengths in areas where I have weaknesses in. It could be also a good time for a partnership in terms of a mentor, student, um, or someone who balances you out, Scorpio. Look for, look for the qualities in the other, whoever that is showing up for you as, that can help you grow over the next six months because seven the seventh house is the other person partnerships my partner business partner romantic partner spouse lover whoever it is that is balancing you and complimenting you now is a new a good time to begin a new chapter with that so that could show up for some of you uh, with a new partner or a new chapter with your current partner that's another possibility for new moon in Taurus in your seventh house. Um, for Sagittarius, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your sixth house of work, of lifestyle, of day-to-day -day routines, and of your health. So if any of you Sages are looking to start a new health regime, like for example, a new diet or a new physical like workout um, routine now is a great time to do that and you'll see that continue to grow over the next six months um, for some of you who are starting a new job this is a, this is a good sign for that Taurus is a very practical sign sign of like putting you know plowing the field the oxen are known as hard workers so it's a great time to begin a new job Sag right now um, and watch it grow over the next six months. You can see a lot of growth in that area. As well as if you want to start up a new work routine, like a new schedule, or um, somehow change it up, it's sort of like you get a chance to have a garden to plant seeds, having to do with your health, with your daily routines, your work, um, all those things that have to do with your schedule, things you do day to day. So work, Work and health are both featured for you right now. Um, start a new start a new plan in one of those areas. It's, you're gonna see a lot of benefit from that. For Capricorn, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your fifth house of true love, of romance, creativity, creative expression, and children. So if some of you are trying to have children, now is a great time to be doing that. It's new moon in Taurus, that new seed wants to come through. And you may see that over the course of the next six months, you may have some luck in that area. Um, for some of you, it may be that a, a true love person shows up for you in this true romance sector. Or you may have a new romance blossoming with your current partner. That can very well happen. And for some of you, it's gonna be more on the creative side where you're taking up a new role in a movie or a play. Um, for some of you, it may be a new series of artwork that you're working on. However you creatively express yourself, Capricorn, this is a great time to begin a new project in that arena. So for some of you, it may show up as love, 
for some of you it may show up as creative expression and for some of you it may show up as children so those are all themes for the fifth house it's very romantic um, very creative house so enjoy that take practical steps is what it's telling me Capricorn towards whatever those things are if you're looking to meet your true love maybe take some practical steps as far as putting the word out there or just whatever that translates to you, take those practical steps because that's Taurus energy. For Aquarius, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your fourth house, which is the house of home, is the house of parents or parenting. Um, so it's, it could be a new aspect of your home life. For some of you, it may mean moving to a new home or purchasing a new home. Taurus has to do with assets and finance and possessions. So it could be that you finally have begun the process of purchasing a new home or um, going towards an, a new place. It could be also like a new, um, a new section to your home. So like if any of you are doing remodels or anything where you're putting an annex on your home or a new project around the home, perhaps building a deck or especially featured is a garden. If any of you are trying to plant a garden, Aquarius, new moon and Taurus, there can't be a better time, especially for if it's at your home. Um, it's also a good time for redecorating. So if you're looking to spruce up your home with new, a new, um, new paint, new textiles, new furniture, New moon in Taurus, while it's exalted in Taurus, and while Venus is in Pisces exalted, there's a lot of beauty surrounding that. So you may have a, a, lot, a great taste for beauty right now, or you may be able to hire an interior decorator who has a great sense of beauty. Great time to begin any renovations having to do with the home, especially aesthetic ones. For, or it could be someone else, uh, a new person coming into your home. New moon in Taurus could also be that. So anything new having to do with the home, that's what's coming up for you for the next six months. Uh, or a great time to begin that now and, and watch, watch results over the next six months, Aquarius. For Pisces, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your third house of communication. So third house has to do with communicating information, with speaking. Um, it can have to do with, you know, socializing. It can have to do with any ways that you engage your voice. Any ways, some of you may be beginning projects in terms of nonviolent communication, or some of you may be taking on a public speaking course, I think I might have said that already, or beginning, um, you know, learning how to do things on the radio or over the airwaves. Beginning a course now is really featured for that, or beginning a new way of communicating, new way of speaking, that's really taking practical steps. Um, Taurus is very practical energy, it's very grounded. So if you're looking to communicate in a new way, this new moon in Taurus can really help you with that and you may see results over the course of the next six months. Um, I'm seeing actually too, for some of you Pisces, you may have something to do with your throat, vocal cords or surgeries, anything to do with that. This new moon in Taurus is gonna give you a new voice. Now, whether that's a literal thing or if it's a metaphorical thing that could be like a writer, who is writing in a new voice that's very possible you might be writing a, a different novel or a different in a different mode a different when they say in writing a different voice right now is a good time that that's featured a new way of expressing yourself pisces so that that can be nurtured over the next six months and you'll see some nice results when we get to that full moon in taurus six months from now and for aries uh, this new moon in Taurus is happening in your second house of finance, of assets, possessions. Uh, it can also mean the body. So if, if some of you are looking to get a new body in some way, figuratively, if that means um, 
working out or exercising, this is a great time to begin that regime. If some of you are looking to gain a new asset or a new possession, now is a great time to plant those seeds and you may see some nice results over the course of the next six months. Um, so if you wanted to bring something into your possession or into your assets, planting the seed of that intention now and nurturing it over the next six months, you can really see some nice results because that the growth in that Taurus line from new moon to full moon, um, you may see some results. So good time, Aries, to bring something new into your possession, into your assets, into your finances, something physical could show up for you over the course of the next six months. If you want to bring that in, set those seeds now because new moon in Taurus in the second house, in your second house of finance and assets, really great time to set some intentions for anything, anything tangible that you would like to bring into your life. So that is my reading for this new moon in Taurus. Um, it looks like it's going to be a very pleasant, very beautiful new moon. So if any of you are looking to plant those gardens, really you might get some beautiful crops, some beautiful flowers around harvest time that's really, really featured. So enjoy the new moon, everyone, and thank you so much for watching. Um, if you do want to check me out on Instagram, we'll have a link up there. I've been having lots of fun with that. And also, if you don't already know about my tarot mat, um, I'll have a link to my website or video that you can check it out there. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for watching Yours in the Stars.